Society organizations and the organized labor groups in Nigeria have reiterated their demand for autonomous, functional, and effective local government administration in the country. The Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, the Nigerian Union of Local Government Employees, NALGI, Association of Local Government of Nigeria, ALGON, and Nigeria Union of Teachers, NUT, unanimously expressed their con commitment to sustain the agitation for local government autonomy. Leaders of the civil society organizations and labor movements in Nigeria met at a one-day reflection and planning session in Abuja on local government reforms organized by the Partnership to Engage, Reform and Learn, PEARL, a UK Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, FCDO. During the session, stakeholders engaged in robust discussions, analyzed key issues and strategized to leverage on the ongoing 10th National Assembly Constitution Amendment process to achieve local government autonomy. The team leader of the Partnership to Engage, Reform and Learn, Pearl, Engage Citizens, Dr. John Mutu, charged the stakeholders to intensify efforts to actualize the objective. The local government system is the bedrock on which the edifice of our democracy rests. With a weak local government or non-functional local government, our democracy is endangered. And we hope that, uh, God forbid, a situation will not lead to the collapse of the democratic system. So given local government autonomy through a constitutional alteration or amendment will certainly help in getting the local governments strong by giving them powers to recruit qualified staff, by giving them powers to uh, use resources for the normal functions of the local government, and by giving them the power to uh, administer the security challenges. Oh, the issue of local government autonomy or functionality, if you like, truly is something that is hampered by the laws and the constitution, which is why the legislators are out there trying to amend the constitution to give the autonomy. As it is today, under our laws and under the constitution of Nigeria, 1999 has, has amended, the state has to assembly are given the powers to legislate for local government, not the local government legislating for itself. The legislate as to tenure, the legislate as to how elections are held and all of that. Why in terms of financial, monies are sent to the joint account where state governments have control. Why? Achieving local government autonomy will bring peace and stability, political peace and stability to Nigeria because Nigeria is a nation that consists of multi-ethnic uh, micro-societies. And everyone cannot be elected president or governors. So the involvement, the political uh, inclusiveness of different ethnic groups will further promote political unity and engender peace in Nigeria. That's number one. Number two, every security challenges are local and the solution to it remain local. If they have autonomy, especially financial autonomy, they should be able, you know, to key in to the law because minimum wage is a minimum wage law. Violation of it is a violation of law. So local governments will be seen to be obeying the law and acting appropriately, you know, by making sure that they pay an approved minimum wage. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.